federal investigators are right now on the scene of a deadly commuter plane crash in upstate New York. The Continental Airlines plane slammed into a home, triggering a massive fireball. The plane was headed from Newark, New Jersey to Buffalo, New York when it went down in, the, in Clarence Center, New York. That is just outside of Buffalo. An Eyewitness News reporter Melissa McBride is live in the newsroom with the latest developments. Melissa. Leslie, 50 people were killed in the crash. The Continental flight had 49 people on board when it nosedived into a house, killing one person inside late last night. NTSB investigators are on scene this morning. Even though the wreckage is still smoldering, they're already looking for the black boxes. The aircraft had 5,000 pounds of fuel on board. There was just massive, massive flames. The flames were incredible, and there was also explosions on the ground. And when we heard the explosion on the ground, the flames started to come towards us, then we left. <laughs> Witnesses say the plane was making a sputtering sound before it went down. Continental Flight 3407 was operated by Colgan Air. The regional carrier says the captain, Marvin Renslow, had been flying for Colgan for three and a half years. The first officer, Rebecca Shaw, came on board last January. The aircraft was built just 10 months ago. The company's CEO now extends his prayers to the victims' families. I don't think there's anything I can say to the families that would ease their pain. You say you're sorry. You ask what you can do. That's about it. The cause of the crash is unknown. It was foggy and snowing in the Buffalo area last night, and two other uh, pilots reported having ice on their wings about 20 miles out from the airport. Crews have not yet been able to remove the victims' bodies. One person killed on board was the widow of a 9-11 victim. Beverly Eckert lobbied for government reforms following the terrorist attacks. She was among those meeting with President Obama last week to discuss how the new administration would handle terror suspects. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Melissa McBride, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Melissa.